Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about Fourier sine and cosine series. Uh, sine and cosine series, we've seen this before. We know about, uh, from previous lectures, we know that what we have here is given f of x is on, uh, is, is some function, right? And it's on a domain that's going to be from 0 up to L, okay? So there's zero, and it goes out to L right there. And the function could be something like this, right? So in a, in a previous video, we learned that there's odd... We'll put it over here, actually. Uh, we, we know odd and even extensions. Okay, so F odd extensions would look like this. What you do is you take the function um, I'm going to get this line a little straighter. There we go. And it goes out to negative L. And what you do is you uh, try to draw uh, I'll try to draw it as best I can like that. And that's going to be the F odd extension. It's going to include this mirror image that's been negated. Likewise, um, there's an F even that's going to be this way. It's going to be just the pure mirror image like that. So that is F even right there. Okay. And once you have these two, you can come up with a Fourier series. Then now just use a regular uh, Fourier series uh, tools. And we learn the following, that for an even extension, if you have an even extension, you get only cosine terms. And if you have an odd extension, you have only sine terms. Okay. And in that way, we can come up with formulas. So for even, or for cosine, we can do this with any function we want. Any function that's of this form, we can get a, a, uh, we can get a cosine series that looks like the following. So the cosine series is going to have terms a n. There will be no b n terms. It will be 2 over l, integral from 0 to l, of f of x. Uh, oops times cosine nx, n pi over lx, I should say, dx, okay, so that's the cosine terms. And then we also have the sine terms. So if I want to do a sine series, we'll just have bn terms, 2 over l, integral from 0 to l of f of x um, uh, times cos or sine n pi over lx dx. Okay, the only um, the only thing that we need to um, the only thing we need to uh, say though is that a zero is a special term. It's going to be just one over l integral from zero to l of f of x dx all by itself. So that's the only exception here is that you have to remember. That, of course, is just the mean value of f for the cosine series. So there's our, there's our three set of equations, that we, our formulas we need to do Fourier series. Let's just, without further ado, go and, and do a couple. So what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to do one example, a pretty straightforward example. We're going to do the function f of x is equal to 1 minus x, and we're going to go on the interval x in the range 0 to 1. Okay, so that means L, the length of the interval, is 1. Okay, all right, so what I can do is let's get a graph of what this looks like. So I'm going to go from 0, going to go out to 1, and the function looks like this. It's just a declining line like that. All right, so uh, from before, we know that the odd extension is going to look like this. Like that, that'll be the odd extension. And the even extension is going to look like this. Okay, cool. 
Um, now let's go through the formula. Um, I think let's do cosine first. So this one is actually a little bit trickier. Let's do the first one. It's going to be 1 over L. So that L is 1, so it's going to be 1 over 1. Integral from 0 to 1 of 1 minus x dx. We already know that that's going to have to be 1 half because that's simply the area under the curve of this triangle. Okay, So it's just going to be 1 half base times height, and that's going to be 1 half. All right, and now to do the a n values, we're going to have to do a little bit more work and we're going to now take 2 over 1, integral from 0 to 1, of 1 minus x times cosine n pi times x. Because remember, L is equal to 1. All right, so that should be good. Um, the computation of this is a little bit, well, we could easily do it. Um, I think some other previous notes have it. You can plug it into Wolfram Alpha. I will just write it like this, just to save time. I know you guys know how to integrate. The goal of this class isn't lots and lots of integrals, although they do happen here and there. Okay, so that is our, our formula. And so of course, this is for n uh, greater than zero. This is for n equals one, two, and three. On up forever. Okay, it should we should note to see what's happening here. When n is equal to zero, or sorry, when n is equal to one, we're not going from zero. When n is equal to zero, uh, what we have that term, that, that's gonna be equal to negative one, that one factor there, right? Uh, in which case, we're gonna have one minus a minus one is gonna be equal to two, in which case, a one is gonna be equal to four over pi, uh, back up there, one squared. Okay, so it's gonna be equal to four over pi. Cool. All right, now if I go to a2, what's that going to be? Well, we have 2 times 1 minus a negative 1 to the 2 power, all over pi 2 squared. But what we see here is that that term goes to 0. So what we're going to do is get 0. And in fact, any even n value what we get is a n is equal to zero. Uh, every odd, for every odd n, we're gonna get a n is equal to four over pi times n squared. All right, so if I were to, I'm gonna move this a little bit. If I were to summarize that, I would say that a n is this. I would actually put it like this. So this is gonna be four over pi n squared, and this is going to be n odd, and then zero for n even. That is a great way to summarize uh, the result um, for our calculation. Okay, so uh, for efficiency, it might be even better than to actually re-index. So what I can do is say that n is actually going to be equal to 2 k minus 1, and k is going to run from 1, 2, 3, 4, on up forever. So that'll count up both even and odds, but this yields only odd ends. So what I can do now is say that a to the 2k minus 1 is equal to 4 over pi 2k minus 1 quantity squared. And those are the only ones I need. And so what I can do is to form my series, f hat, so this is my cosine series. This is my final answer. This is going to be the sum. k starts at 1, goes up to forever. We go from 4 times pi 2k minus 1 quantity squared times cosine, and then we have a 2k minus 1 times pi times x, and that would be my Fourier series, a cosine Fourier series for this. Okay, so that's pretty cool that we have that. Now 
what I'd like to show you um, is how to do it for a sign series. It's going to be completely different, actually a little simpler in terms of the actual math gone into it. So now let's do F sine. I want to find the sine series. So we know it's going to be of a form like this. N is equal to 1, goes up for forever, of Bn times sine n pi x. Right now I want to compute those Bn's. The Bn's are going to be 2 integral from 0 up to 1 of 1 minus x times sine n pi x dx. Just as before, I'm going to skip the integral. You can clearly, you can easily just plug this into rule from alpha and get it. It's going to be a very simple formula, 2 over pi times n. All right, much simpler than what we had before. And this is n is going to go from 1, 2, 3, and up for forever. Okay, so our f sine of x is going to be written as n is equal to 1, goes up for forever, of 2 over pi times n times sine n pi x. Okay, great. There is our final answer for that one. Okay, so um, for your homework and exams, just being able to compute these, um, we want to make the integrals pretty straightforward. Uh, what's really important is we just learned that we want to be precise about when we write down our Fourier coefficients and we associate them correctly with the correct, uh, with the correct Fourier modes that they go with and we're able to write them in the summation notation. All right, so it's a lot of just really good housekeeping that I'm asking you to do here. Um, but what's really important is the idea that this does in fact converge. Uh, the function, uh, the function, this, this one minus x function, this really truly is, it converges point-wise and all the interior points where there's no jump discontinuities uh, interior to, um, there will be a jump discontinuity at uh, of the Fourier series at the origin at zero, uh, uh, but uh, aside from that, this function will will look exactly the same. But the fact that you can represent this this function one minus x as a sine series is is very powerful. All right, so thank you very much.